to be a part of Peugeot's comeback to Le Mans and the WEC Championship uh, is a big privilege. There's just this, this kind of aura around the team uh, of, of the history they have and you know, of what we, we hope to achieve in the coming years. WEC is having a golden era now and, uh, and having the opportunity to, to carry on you know, that legacy about Peugeot and endurance racing. Well, the 9X8, I think, is a unique looking car and it's the product of the, our technical team working together with the design team and Peugeot and uh, I think the, their end result is, is pretty stunning. Yeah, Sebring is a great first test for all of us as a team, you know, uh, here you cannot afford to make a small mistake, it's very unforgiving, otherwise you end up in the tyre barriers. The track changes every year because the concrete is falling apart, they try to fix it a little bit but they never resurface uh, anything on, and the concrete is the same it's been for I think more than 100 years. It rattles your bones, it shakes the cars apart and it really gives us an idea um, if we do have any failures or issues on what we need to pinpoint and work on to go to Le Mans knowing that we have a bomb-proof car and team. So uh, I think Sebring plays a huge role. We know that it's going to be difficult, uh, but that's what we love also about sports. The more difficult it is and uh, uh, sweeter is the, is the victory. I have the belief that we can go to the top. You know, I signed up to it, I'm in it, I'm ready to get my elbows out and work hard for it. It means business and there's kind of no excuses how we go forward because at the end of the year we've done a full championship campaign. I race to, to win and, you know, that's the only feeling that I like. Two clean laps uh, I did. It's the fastest lap we've done uh, during the, the whole week, so uh, that's positive. The only negative is that we, we are not where we want to be in the game. I mean, we are close to the Porsche for sure, but uh, we want to be, we want to be further in front. Uh, we knew it would be difficult. We, we ne never had such a bumpy track uh, during testing or races last year. It's, it's difficult for us, but it's good also to 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 come in this environment, difficult environment, to to do uh, and to try to do some step forward uh, in those conditions. Well, it's going to be a long race. I think uh, it's very important to, to finish it with no, no mistake, no issues. Keep learning. We, we're not where we want to be at the moment, but we're not giving up, and especially at the first race of the season. The car turns, uh, turns uh, red following an uh, issue you know, the, the hybrid, so we, we had to box to fix it, uh, which took uh, eight or nine laps. Having those issues in the first two hours, uh, it's, uh, it's weird, but uh, we have to look at the data and uh, try to understand what happened. I guess when we've not been to this track, you're going to identify new things. It's a huge challenge to come here. Um, you know, I, I know what it takes to try and win this race. But you know, you, you've got to thank the guys for the time they're going to put in now. What we've done here, um, and we go away here um, where we are. That's reality. And we really need to now go back, go back to HQ, kind of digest everything, and uh, clearly make a step, which I think we all know we have to make. And uh, the whole team is kind of on the same boat and fully supported and on board to make those steps.